Welcome back to the channel. In this one, I'm going to be reviewing this little product. So I was in the market for a small portable SSD, not too large at capacity. As you can see, it's only 512 gigabytes for going on my travels. And the reason I wanted something that wasn't too large in capacity was, well, I already have a two terabyte SanDisk one, which I use for copying games backwards and forwards and things and other stuff. And I have another one terabyte drive that I use for backing up all the, the videos that I've produced on the channel. But I just wanted something I could take along with me so that I could back up my mobile phone, which is recording it as we speak. Now that's because this has, the mobile phone has 256 gig of storage. And of that storage, the breakdown is roughly 44 gigabytes of apps. 27, I think, is the system files themselves. And then I generate massive files when I'm out and about. So generally speaking, every day or two days, I'm copying gigabytes of data off my phone little bits of footage, B-roll, stuff like that, because I record everything in 4K. Now I'm about to go on holiday, and I'll be away for a few days, and my plan is to potentially not take my PC with me, which means my mobile phone's gonna fill up really quickly. So this gives me double the capacity. Now I didn't wanna go too crazy, so this gives me enough capacity that I can back my mobile phone up, I can back up some other stuff if necessary, back my partner's phone up, but also travel with some extra games on the go. So, the reason I picked the NetAc unit was um, threefold. One, it's kind of semi-rugged, it's not really super rugged, it just looks like it should be rugged. It's got a little carabiner clip hole in it, so it's going to make packing it around me quite easy, and it's small. And also, it was pretty low cost. So I got this on uh, a sale on Amazon, 20% off, so I got it for about £46, £47, pounds, which, you know, isn't cheap. I could buy a two terabyte spinning disc for that price, but you know, spinning discs are not very popular these days, and certainly not for taking on holiday for quick and easy backing up. But this did appear that it would work with my mobile phone. And um, it seems to be on a bit of a fire sale, partly because I think NetAc have got a bit of a mixed reputation, and partly because it's a USB 3.2 Gen 2x2, up to 20 gigabits, which I think they were hoping would be a big seller, and it's probably not worked out that way because most people can't take advantage of that. And I know I can't. Anyway, we picked this up. So it says in the back here, it's USB-C interface. It's model designation is the ZX20. And it'll run on anything above Android 5, which was important to me. So let's just pop open the box, see what you get inside, because I was actually quite surprised. So you get the little unit itself and before we take that out, we'll just turn this over because stuff's starting to fall out already. So you get a little user manual. It's a little bit bent. Just the usual stuff. Probably tells you about the warranty, which apparently is a five-year warranty. So initially I was a little bit concerned that because NetAct didn't have a massive reputation. Bit mixed, good and bad. But a five-year warranty, well, as long as I don't lose too much stuff, if it fails, then it's not a problem. And it's not a big capacity, so I'm not going to lose a lot. Now it does come with a little fake plastic leather sleeve, which, you know what, it's actually quite a welcome addition. I may use this, I may not. But it comes with two cables, which I was actually quite impressed with. So it comes with a USB-C to USB-C, which I'll be using, but also comes with a USB-C to USB-A, and it's a good sturdy little cable. So it's always handy, you don't often get two cables when you buy a um, SSD, portable SSD list. In fact, the SanDisk one came with a USB-A, to see which isn't as quick as using, say, a USB-C at both ends. So I had to get one of them separately, short one anyway. So this is the cable I've been using. I've not used this one yet, but it's good to have. We'll turn it over and we'll try and get this little thing out here because it's quite well put in here. Very much interference fit. There we go, and it's out. So yeah, as you can see, it's small, it's plasticky, it's got a little carabiner hole there. I don't know how sturdy this would be. It doesn't creak or crack, which is good. On the back, it's a, it tells you it's an ETAC SSD, 512 gigabytes, and your serial number. And it's it's got a kind of soft touch on the back and a rough, scratchy plastic on the front. So it'll sit on the table quite well. Anyway, I've been testing this, and so far I have loaded about 40 or 50 gigs worth of stuff on it. I've put about 40 gigs worth of games. I'll probably put some movies on it, but mostly I'm going to try and keep at least the capacity of my mobile phone available so that I can create some content when I'm travelling. And, uh, well, my plan was just to get a carabiner and clip this on and 
at least it was handy about my keys or something like that with me but I might end up just putting in this little sleeve and then chucking it in one of my little storage bags that I usually travel about with me that's got a multitude of cables and in this case I will probably just take USB-C to C. So there you go, nice and small, easy to travel with. So is it a good product? Only time will tell and what I'll do is I'll feed back in another video at a later date. But it's, um, it seems okay, it's very light, it seems to be pretty well put together, soft touch back panel, firm front. But it was on sale so I thought I would bring this to my viewers attention. 20% off is always a nice little saving, especially in the UK that's you basically saved your, your extra taxes, your value added tax so to speak. So yep, yeah, I've copied some stuff on this so far, seems to run pretty well, it works on my mobile phone, it works on a tablet, it works on my PC and that's really all I expected from it. So if you see me posting content in the next few weeks and it's from a international destination, chances are it was backed up on this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.